Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading Way. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a thread up box. I just opened it. The receipt is from May 9th, 2023. So this was pre um, shipping. So there was no shipping on this one. So it cost $48 plus tax. It is from Pennsylvania, and the bag is busted open, so I'm going to take the box down, take it out, and then we'll do it from there. This is what it looks like, so I'm going to dump it out, and we'll go from there. There's all kinds of little bits in the bottom, so I'm just going to dump it, and then we'll go. Let's hope this one is better than our last that I have from last week, um, but almost anything has to be better than that one, right? Hope everybody's doing great. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms, and we bring everything to you first. We do videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and they post at 10 um, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do have two rings to bring to you today. These are adorable. Um, they are both signed. Um, both 9 to 5. I've already tested them. This is an Allen K ring. Allen K is, specializes in Millefiori. Um, he is um, in the United States and it is signed 9 to 5 and Allen K. Um, beautiful pieces. This is an infinity um, symbol with gorgeous flower Millefiori in bright spring summer uh, colors it is an eight and a quarter yeah about an eight and a quarter and um i'm gonna do 60 on this one isn't that just so sweet love it and this is ross simons it is turquoise and soda light um beautiful um design on this. This is a 12 and a half. And on this one, I'm going to do $50. Isn't that fabulous? So that's the two rings. And now we're going to um, do our thread up. Um, I'm going to put this over to the side to see if we get another one, but it is a shoe clip. A really cool one too with really heavy. So we'll put this over to the side to see if we get a second one. Uh, this is pretty. So this is a pendant. It was a brooch, but the brooch is broken. It is a trimble piece, so it has a B. No missing rhinestones that I see. Let's see, is that a missing rhinestone? Let me look with the loop. All right, there might, yes, okay, there's a couple of missing rhinestones, uh, but that is so cute, adorable. So on this one, it's just a pendant now, not a brooch. Um, so I'm going to say you really don't notice the missing um, rhinestones. Uh, there it is pretty close, um, but I'm going to do... Um, I'm gonna do six dollars because that is too cute. I believe this is leather or leather type. I don't know what that is, but it's interesting. Um, it's a snap leather, leather type band. It is small. It is a size six and a half. And I'm just gonna say five dollars on that one. Uh, this is nice. Let's see if it's marked. I don't see any marking right off. Oh, right here. It says 935. Definitely says 935. It is a Greek key. It is a cuff. It's a little bent. Let's test it first. It is blue, even though it has a bubble in it. There's your blue. Let 
nice. Our third piece, and it's sterling. Much better than last week already. Okay, right now it is set at about, I straightened it out a little bit, at about a seven, a little higher content than sterling. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's do 35 on this. This is a really nice piece and marked with the Greek key. So, okay, 35. Here we have a little anchor that's power coated and white. Um, let's give you a measurement of it. Uh, measurement, there it is. I'm not using the bail. It is one inch by three fourths of an inch. And I'm just gonna say, let's do $5 on the um, anchor. I'm gonna put um, earrings over to the side. Okay, so I just found the missing um, rhinestone to this. The rhinestones are acrylic, so I'm gonna put this, <laughs> goes right there. Every time I push on it, it pops off. So um, let me get a bag so we don't lose that one. Let's get you a measurement on it. First off, let's put this in the bag. If you want me to glue that back on with um, jewelry glue, let me know. If not, I'll just leave it in the bag. And this is with the extension. It is 20 inches, so I'm gonna say just um, $6 on that one. Uh, thundering made me jump <laughs> um okay these are cool these are glass um and straw um they are some cracked those are really cool and big um it is 26 inches and the beads are about a half inch by uh, about five eighths of an inch. I'm going to say, let's do um, $12 for those. And they are like a seafoam greenish color, a beautiful. Okay, these are hand tied or hand knotted in between. Um, I believe these are glass. Yeah, these are glass. Um, these are actually really pretty. And it's knotted down here, like a crisscross. It is fifteen inches, and then the crisscross is about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna say, let's just do, these are really pretty. I'm gonna say $6 on those. M, and these are, I think a Mayan calendar type of earring. Um, it says eternal hap ear, <laughs> okay. And, um, and then there's an M there, but that's what they look like. I think they're more, uh, I'm not sure what the symbols are, but it's definitely not Aztec or Mayan. I'm gonna say, let's give you a size. It's a half inch. So I'm just gonna say $3 on those and they're new on card. These are my style, it says. 
<laughs> um, these are glass. Um, it says nickel free, lead free. So I'm just gonna say $3 on those. And there's a heart on the bottom and then um, uh, pink. I don't wanna open them, but they're pretty. And they are about two and a half inches. So $3 on those. These are by Claire's and they're little bunnies, but one of the um, uh, faux pearls is missing. It says it's 18 karat gold plated. Um, so I'm just gonna say, and they're in enamel also. I'm just gonna say a dollar. And if we see the um, missing pearl, faux pearl, we'll add that to it. These are with love. Nothing on the back. They are wires. Uh, they are gold tone and two and uh, three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to say three dollars. Uh, let's see. Is this a choker or is this a wrap bracelet? Let's measure it. It is 14 and a half inches. And it has rhinestones here, a metallic cord, a faux leather cord, and then a uh, purplish plum uh, quartz. And I'm just gonna say, it's, it is magnetic. And I'm just gonna say, let's do um, four dollars. It is coming down. Finally, we need rain. Uh, this is pretty. This is just, is it inlaid? Just painted. Um, on a, I guess, like rope. It is a lobster clasp, 18 inches, and these are glass and metal. I'm just gonna say $2. pearls lots of rhinestones however this says Claire's and it is no this is charming Charlie I think or Claire's I'm not sure I never get those right a lot of discoloration on the back so I'm just gonna say a dollar name on this it's a lobster class done in gold um, these are little acrylic faceted beads and a um, Y necklace with a drop feather or leaf not including the extension it is 24 inches Mm. Oh, it's wider than that, longer than that. It's 30 inches with a drop, three and a half inches, and then an additional three inch extension. So I'm just gonna say $5 for that one. We have a little palm tree here that's cute. It is signed. It says 
Tiffany and Company. Hmm. It says AG925. I'm going to do a little research on this and let you know what I find. And we got some beads as usual going all over the place. That's our, our mode lately. Uh, Tangles. Tangles are going to go over to the side for the minute. <laughs> I think that's a Charming Charlie, right? It's discolored again. It's pretty, but I mean, it is discolored up here. It has enamel flowers and then faux beads. Uh, all the enamel flowers look in good condition, but it is discolored. So I'm gonna say, let's just do $2 um, on that one. We have an, oh, this is a cool evil eye here. It's with a little um, safety clasp. And then cubic zirconia. Uh, let me look. It does say 925 on the class. All right, I'm going to move this over so you can see it. And there's those. Okay, it says that these are all diamonds. I mean, they are beautiful. So again, I'm gonna put this over to the side and research a couple things at the end. Um, and we will see what we find. Um, that would be fabulous if that is diamond. Um, it's beautiful. What do we have here? Yeah, that's all gonna go there. Uh, this is cute. This is ceramic, uh, little hearts. And then it has little, some of them, have these little hearts in between. Um, it is stretched out quite a bit, but I'm gonna do $4 on that because that is cute. Um, this is hematite and it's one of, uh, this is pretty. Uh, this is a really pretty. Okay. This is hematite and then glass, um, bicone beads. Um, little, um, let me see if these are sterling, but I'll check. And cloisonne. Isn't that pretty? Okay. This is really pretty. Let's see if these are sterling beads real quick. It looks like it. So it's right here. And it is, there's your blue. Um, so far, this is so much better than our last box. Okay, uh, beautiful. So this is um, either a necklace or a um, bracelet, wrap around uh, hematite, which is magnetic, sterling and cloisonne, all in blue with bicone glass beads. I'm gonna do, um, this is fabulous. I'm gonna do 35 for this one. Love that. <laughs> As I jump, um, this is shell um, in a wave. 
um, with a waxed leather um, necklace that is adjustable. Uh, that's nice. So I'm going to say, let's do $6. Uh, we have a snap bracelet. Um, I believe it's leather. I don't see a name. Let's see if everything's there. It is um, silver, copper, brass, and rhinestones. And the, um, it looks like it's leather or faux leather, um, is metallic. I don't see anything missing yet. No, nothing missing. And it is adjustable. So at the largest size, it is a size seven, seven and a quarter. So on this one, I'm gonna say $5. Oh. All right, we got beads going everywhere. Um, this is just plastic, but tiny. Um, that's interesting. Um, it is a type of plastic, but I don't see any seams. But it is small. It is only about a five and a half to six. Um, but I'm gonna say, let's do $5. We have the seed bead necklace with, um, and it's in purple. Um, I'm just gonna say, let's do $2 on that. This says, I'm not sure. A-L-Y Couture. I'm not familiar with that brand. Lots of rhinestones. Um, there is a rhinestone missing there. And this looks like just copper tone. It's not copper. There could be other missing, but I mean, that is gorgeous. It is a size six and three fourths. So I'm gonna look this brand up and I'll put the information in here. That's heavy. Uh, these match. Uh, two, no, I guess, that, I guess somebody made these. They're clip-on earrings, and amazingly, they're super light. The odd thing is, is that this um, setting looks like it should have been for a different size, but the whole this whole setting goes all the way down here. So I guess they're meant to be like this. Um, no missing rhinestones. As I said, super light. Um, the back is a like a real leather. I don't see a name. Um, interesting. But these are super interesting. I'm going to say $10 on those because they're so interesting. All right, we have I think it's a faux pearl. I can't really tell. I think it's faux, um, but it's interesting. It is not signed. So 
so I'm just going to say $2 on that one. Let's put it all the way back in. So $2 on the little cuff. Keep coming back to that. <laughs> Uh, check out this ring. Um, hmm, not sure. It's just an adjustable ring. I think this is plastic. So we're just going to do $2 on that one. Um, rough sketch um, earrings. This is designed in New York. Uh, doesn't tell us anything. Uh, no missing rhinestones that I see. Those are actually really pretty. So I'm going to say let's do $8 on those. New and a card, um, which is always a good thing. And I am not going to put them back in this dirty container. Plastic. We have some hmm, faux pearls, I'm going to say. I believe they're glass, super heavy. Um, there is some um, chipping. I don't see a name. They are 16 inches, and I'm just going to say $2.00 since it has chipping. Uh, Charming Charlie's really scratched up. So I'm gonna say just a dollar. Here is another one of those either um, bracelets or um, chokers um, with the um, quartz, and this one's in tan. So I'm going to say whatever price I set on that one, on this one. Uh, we have some pink cha-cha earrings, tassels. Um, just needs to be um, straightened out a little bit. I'm just gonna say uh, two dollars. And here's some red ones. They look brand new. Um, so just uh, two dollars on the red. Oh, we got some fashion earrings. Um, a total of one. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do five dollars for the set. We've got a pink um, stretch bracelet, just a dollar. Um, this is coming apart, so just a dollar. This is broke because this is where all the um, beads are coming from. This one's broke also, so just a dollar. All right, these were $12.99 nickel free. I'm going to put these over to the side because we might have some of these loose. Um, so I'll put these to the side for a bit. All right, we have some paparazzi, um, a long necklace, and earrings. Those are going to be a dollar. Um, more earrings with rhinestones. Those are going to be a dollar. Uh, these are acrylic. Aren't those interesting? They look like they're rhinestone, but they're just pressed. Uh, that's going to be a dollar. We have some Sarah 
fashion earrings, nickel free, um, made in China. Um, these are actually really pretty. They're seed beads and tassels with bows. So I'm gonna say $3. Another one of those broken, I'm just putting all these together, these broken ones, and they're gonna be $1. Uh, stretch acrylic bracelet, a dollar. Here we have Daughters, and it is um, Alex and Ani. Um, it's a little tarnished, so I'm just going to say it's from 2015. I'm going to say let's do um, $4. Here is a German Charlie necklace. Um, it's supposed to look like dyed halite with the earrings. It was originally $18 and it's called Wine Dark. Um, I'm just gonna say um, $2. A lot of things in packages. Um, this is supposed to be, <laughs> how cute is that? Ketchup and mustard, that's a dollar. All right, I think I saw one of these loose. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this over to the side because I saw one of these that were loose. Here is fashion jewelry. And it looks like a honeybee um, with a hive and a heart. So I'm just gonna say $2 on the fashion jewelry. More earrings. Um, I'm gonna put these over to the side because we might find one more set. They were from Nordstrom Rack, originally $45 down to 13. So see if we find a pair that looks like those. Uh, we have a, um, like enameled bracelet. It's a little loose, so I'm gonna say, let's just do a dollar. Um, all right, over to the side. <laughs> These were on sale for eight fifty. And they are tiny. I'll put them over to the side. We have a ring here. Silver plated cubic zirconia size 6 and new day. And they were $19. And there's three stackable rings. And um, let's do $5. We have this vintage three strand necklace. Okay, I can't really show it because it one full strand is broken but it is like faux um, pearls or acrylic pearls um i'm gonna put this all in a bag and it's simply gonna be a dollar i'm gonna leave that open right there because it has a lot all right i think i have everything out of this unbelievable it is just ribbon and magnetic so that's even worse okay um but this is going to be a dollar and it's going to be in a bag so it doesn't attach to anything else it's a seafoam green and it's just ribbon um a bunch of ribbon so just a dollar Okay, these are earrings. Okay, uh, they are messed up, so they're just a dollar, but they are rhinestones, tons of rhinestones that you can use for something else. So those are a dollar. Um, we have a choker with a snap closure. Um, 
No missing rhinestones. Like so. Like so. How's that? <laughs> and it's adjustable. And I'm just going to say a um, dollar because it looks like, no, it looks in actually really good condition unused. So uh, just a dollar on that one. What does this say? It says 925, so I'm going to test this. And we have a Texas with the flag, um, gold tone. Using the extension, it is 20 inches, and the Texas is uh, one and a half inches, or one and a quarter by one inch. And I'm going to say, let's just do $3 on the Texas. And this one is like mirrored um, Texas with a heart. And it says that it's a sterling chain. So let's test it. Not sure I scratched hard enough. Oh, but the blue's coming through. So it is sterling with a little mirror Texas. And um, let's see how long this chain is. It's a cute little piece. Really dainty chain that is 18 inches. So I'm just gonna say $12 for the sterling mirrored Texas. Now, this is cute. Let's see. There's a name. No, I don't see a name. This is flowers cut out um, and then leaves. Um, I don't see a name on them and they're like um, a rose gold and then a leather chain or strap and these are open so you could tie them or just leave them loose but I'm just gonna say well let me give you a measurement on how long it is uh, to the flowers it is 24 inches so I'm gonna say let's do just five dollars Okay, let's see. These should be jade, so let me test them. And they do go right to the nephrite. On each color, okay. So that's nice, and it says sterling. So sterling and nephrite. Um, so, oh, there's a name on it. Let's see what it says. It just says 925. Okay, so I'm gonna add um, the price right here. Um, this is a Scrabble tile that has got a bird on it and it's um, got like epoxy on it. And let's see what else. 
it's discolored and it looks like there's two chains. So I'm just gonna say a dollar for the um, uh, Scrabble piece. Did I say Yahtzee or Scrabble? I meant Scrabble. Okay, we have um, just a brass and it says phenomenal. It is seven inches cuff. And I'm just gonna say $5. And then we have this, no name. It also must be brass. It looks like just glass, but let me test it real quick. Yeah, just glass cuff and it's wired on and it's about six and three fourths of an inch. So I'm going to say $5 on that one. Okay, I had to stop and clean up a little bit. It was just getting a little out of hand. Okay, so here is this one. All right, no name. But here is the little um, rhinestone piece flower that goes right here. Let's see if there's anything else missing. There is not. So it is 18 inches with a two inch extension. And with the little flower, I'm gonna say, let's do $3. These are shoe clips and they are matching. And I'm gonna say, let's do, um, $10 for those. Uh, wow, and this is crazy how big this knot is. I'm getting out my big needle. I'm going to go off camera because this is gonna take me a while. So, all right, you see it now and let's see what it looks like in a little bit. This took me forever, oh my gosh. It was insane. So um, here we have a Kate Spade um, necklace. It has no um, clasp and um, it is 32 inches and it is a rhinestone ball. I think I saw one rhinestone missing. Uh, let me see if I can find it again. Uh, don't you love whenever, there it is, right there at the bottom. So you really don't notice it. I mean, it took me a while to find it. So on the Kate Spade, I'm just, since it does have one missing rhinestone, I'm just going to do $10. And this one, um, is, uh, tortoise and the, um, it is um, some discoloration. It is by Amano uh, Studio, and um, it's a small woman-owned jewelry company, but there is some discoloration in this piece, so I'm just going to say $5. This one is really pretty. Let me. Oh, good grief. Do not... Even get me started on getting these un <laughs> um, tangled. It took forever. This one is quartz. Um, beautiful. It is an interesting double chain. It is uh, patent um, pending uh, 2007. It um, you just unsnap it. It's cool. I've seen these before. Um, and it, let me give you a size on this one. Uh, 16 inches and the quartz black heart is, um, almost, let's see, one and three eighths of an inch by one and an eighth. And then it's super thick. 
by almost a half inch. That's the back and that's the front. That's the sides. And on this one, I think this is my favorite piece almost out of what I untangled. And this is going to be, mm, let's do, let's do $10 on that one. That one's cool. Okay, this one is a Madewell. It is gold tone and copper tone. It is a box chain. Very interesting. It has the Senorita clasp, um, just not as a real clasp. It's just like a decoration. Um, I was thinking that something um, might have connected to this, but this is completely by itself. I guess you could hook something to this. And it is a long um, 28 inches. And on this one, I'm just going to do, let's do $8 for the Madewell. This one is a Stella and Dot. It is very pretty. It is a snake um, with rhinestones in a um, cable chain. It is odd because the snake is on the side and the class for the class to be in the back. Um, it is Stella and Dot. And um, on this one, it is in a rose gold, um, 16 inches with a two inch extension. So I'm gonna say, let's do um, $6 for the Stella and Dot. Then we have a Longitude Latitude um, necklace. Uh, the chain is um, gold filled, uh, beautiful um, chains. There's quite a few of these in there. And I was thinking that they all went together, but then they're all the same length, so they don't. This is um, 19 inches. So this one, I'm just going to do $5. And here's another um, Latitude Longitude. Um, nothing on the back. It um, has a little tag, but it doesn't say anything. And um, it is silver tone. This one's 18 inches. And there's the um, latitude longitude. And these were all in that ball. And... Um, This one is Namaste. Um, it is gold filled also. This one has a, uh, it is 19 inches also. And I'm just gonna do um, $7 on the Namaste. Here we have, I think it's called a team hand and um, it's got a diamond in the center and it's gold tone but it's 925 um, with a gold filled um, necklace and this one is 16 inches so this one would actually go well with the namaste like so, let's get that out of there. Like so, because this is 19 and a half and this is 16 and a half. So these would go well together and I could see clasping these on this side um, ring. So those are nice, but the, um, actually I'm gonna put these two together because they just look like they should go together. So there you go. So for the two of these, I'm gonna say, let's do, um, since there is a diamond, 925, and this doesn't say anything, $18 for the uh, two necklaces. And then this one um, is rock horns. 
uh, rock and roll and it is tagged. Let's see what it says. This says 14 karat gold and the necklace says gold filled. All right, let's test the um, horns. Okay, we're going to scoot that over to the side to see if it um, goes away. Um, oh, and then this one is a small little anchor. It says 925. It's on a cable chain. And this one, I believe, is gold filled also. So I think somebody had a lot of gold filled necklaces. Um, but this is a tiny little anchor, but the necklace is 20 inches. So on the sterling anchor and gold filled uh, necklace, I'm gonna say, let's do, um, I guess I can scratch that while we're waiting on that one to disappear. And it looks like it is sterling, but let's see. Yeah, there's your blue. Yeah, I did a light um, scratch, so it's real light, but it is blue. And the gold is where else do the anchor, um, the 20 inch chain. I'm gonna say, let's do, uh, $12. Some days, <laughs> just shake my head. I recorded the rest of the whole video and it had shut off. Ah. Okay, so this is um, 14 karat gold. It says so right there. Um, I did test it. Um, I'm trying to think if I did that on camera. Um, I did, so I'm not positive, but it is 14 karat gold. And this is how I do 14 karat gold. Um, I test it with acid and then I test it with my gold tester to be sure it comes out exactly the same thing before I send it. I don't always do the gold key gold tester on, um, video. However, I do it before I send an invoice to you. So um, on the really cool, it's um, rock and roll um, or a good luck symbol. Uh, there's your fingers, there's the back sides. It's a really nice piece. It is on a 24 inch gold, I believe it's 24 inch, now I can't remember. I have a short memory. <laughs> yes, 24 inch gold filled um chain but i'm going to do um i'm going to do 35 dollars on the rock and roll um 14 karat gold not the chain uh, the chain is just gold filled that's just thrown in okay um then uh what do we have okay we have this jewel art piece that's a cameo and faux pearls. Very, very substantial. It is a size eight. Um, really good condition on this. And I'm gonna say let's do uh let's do fifteen dollars. That's really cool. I think that is such a cool ring. So fifteen. Then we have this piece, which is icing. Um, there's a symbol for icing. I'm going to do, um, it's a torque. I'm going to say, let's do $4. Um, this um, is a dollar. It has the missing. I put all the beads in there with it. 
It is vintage. It's a pretty piece. It's four strands. Um, they are some coins, black beads, and medallions. I believe it's 16 to 24 inches, and I'm just going to do $6 on the icing. Um, this is um, I-L... ILY Couture. There is just one missing rhinestone. I believe it's somewhere in this area. Or maybe this area. I mean, there's so many rhinestones. It's amazing that this doesn't have more missing. I'm trying to find that one. Okay. Right there. Is that it? Yeah, right there. So on this, it is a size seven. So I'm going to do $15 on that. Even with the missing one piece, um, that's not bad. Even if it has more, when you're looking at this, you really don't see it. Um, it's a, just a beautiful piece. Love that sparkle. There's another missing one right there. Okay, let's just do $10 for it. It was in the tangle, um, and it says OR. I'm just going to do uh, $2. This says, uh, what does this say? Cosmetolitan. It is stretch, really pretty rose gold. I'm going to say just uh, $4 on that one. Uh, we have this brooch. It is uh, about two and three eighths of an inch, and I'm going to do $3. We have this locket, silver tone. Um, it opens, it has a little bit of green stuff needs to be cleaned off. So I'm just going to say $5. It's a pendant. Um, this is a silver tone box chain. Um, it is not sterling. It is magnetic with a silver tone dog. It has a bubble right here. I'm not supposed, sure if that's supposed to be like, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like a bubble but it doesn't go through to the back at all. There's your bag. The chain is uh, 20 inches and the dog is an inch and a quarter by about seven eighths of an inch. And um, it has a lobster class. I'm gonna say $6 on the dog. Um, this is a silver tone, really tiny um, bracelet. It is only a size five and three fourths. And I'm just going to say um, three dollars on that. And this one. Okay. This one is really cool. Um, it's an evil eye. It is rubies in the center with um, green rubies. Um, and um, I can't get the outside to test it all, so it could be cubic zirconia. It is a bolo um, adjustable bracelet. So on this one, I'm going to do $20. And on this one, it is um, glass, Murano glass, and diamonds. But remember, they're tiny. They um, are flat but it's a uh, beautiful, and they did test. It is a, um, I believe this one says 925. Yes, I don't know if I tested it. There's your blue.
And on this one, I'm going to, oh, let me give you a size because it is a um, non-adjustable. It is about six and three-fourths, I mean, six and a half to six and three-fourths, and it is um, double um, roped. And on this one, I'm going to say um, 25. Let's see. Then we have... Some fashion rings. Okay, this one's really pretty. It has a blue bar. It is not signed. It is a size eight. And on this one, I'm gonna do um, $6. And then I think these two go together because they are um, like a stacker rings, um, like so. And they are, well, they're not the same size. One is an eight and a half, and the other one is an eight. So they're not stacker rings. Um, so I'm gonna do the two of these together for $5. Then we have this open, um, what is that called again? <laughs> um, Trinity. Um, and it is not sterling. It is a size seven and a half. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do $5. Then we have these two, they're just rings. Um, and I don't see any writing on the inside. One is a 10 and a 3 fourths, and one is um, nine and a half. And on the two of those, I'm going to say um, just $5. Then we have this cute ring. Um, it's a bow tie or a bow with pink rhinestones. Uh, let me look closer to see if there's any missing rhinestones. Yeah, I see one missing rhinestone right there. So I'm just going to say $2 on that one. And it is a size 8. And then this one, which is an Infinity Love, I believe this is uh, silver plated. It is a six and a half, and I'm just going to do seven dollars on that one. Then we have all the little tiny earrings. Um, I'm putting them all together because I couldn't find, uh, couldn't match them up, and I just, this has been a long video. <laughs> so I'm just putting them all together. I'm even putting the Lauren Olivia. These are all studs. Um, there is, I didn't mean to put that one in there. Because I'm doing all studs in here. And um, so this is uh, just two pairs of studs by uh, Lauren Olivia, which is a good brand. On the back, it said it was originally $45. Gosh, that's annoying all that crinkly. But um, on this, I'm going to do, I'm going to do $20 for all the earrings. And there's matches, one, two, three, uh, four cards, five cards, um, and then all these loose ones. So $20 for all of those. Then we have the loose pieces. Oh, this is a brass bracelet, um, really nice bangle. It is a size eight to eight and a quarter, and I'm gonna say five dollars on that one. Um, these are matching earrings, which are really pretty, um, enameled piece. Um, they're slightly magnetic, so I'm gonna just say three dollars on those. And then we have oh, these are made well. I don't know if I had showed those um 
and this one has some um, paint missing. So together, um, these normally, and there's the M for Madewell, and they're Bolo um, rope bracelets, and they're shells. Generally, these go for about $22 for the two of them. However, I'm just gonna say, let's do um, $5 together. Oh, here's another ring I missed. It's an anchor. It is not magnetic. Uh, that my voice is starting to go because it's been such a long video. It is not sterling. It is a size five. And I'm just gonna say $4 on that one. And then we have um, this small amount of um, bits and pieces that is just uh, an owl, this one, um, this cool one, this one, unfortunately, uh, missing. We've got some beads and this. Um, I am just adding that to last week's bits and pieces, which did not sell. And we are up to, let's see, 7.1. So we are going to do just $7 for the bits and pieces. And that's from last week's box and this week's box. Um, let me see. I think that is... Oh, one more thing, two more things. We still have the um, palm tree to talk about. And then these, and I'm gonna pour these out where you can see them. I thought for sure this was a cool bag. Um, so these are the earrings we have in this earring bunch. So one, these are clip-ons and nothing missing, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. and these are signed J. Crew. So 12 pairs of earrings um, for $2 each. Um, I'm still going to do $20 if anybody's interested. And our last piece, which I believe is true, um, authentic. Um, I did do the testing. It is sterling silver. It is marked AG925 and Tiffany and Co. with the, let me come in. Gosh, my fingers are dirty, sorry. Um, the copyright in Tiffany and Company. Uh, let's see if I have that right. There it is. Tiffany and Co. with the um, copyright symbol. Um, and then on the back of the um, palm tree, it has T and C Co. And then the AG925 on that also. And um, this is, I believe, a 20 inch chain. Let me see, it might be 24. It is a 24 inch chain. And I've decided to keep it for a little while. Um, I don't have any Tiffany and Company. So I thought this would be a nice 24-inch um, Tiffany and Company 
especially being from Florida with the palm tree. So I'm gonna keep it for a while, and then of course I'll bring it to you. Wow, what did you think? I thought this was a good box. Um, I'm happy with Tiffany and Company, Sterling Gemstones, 14 karat gold, diamond and sterling, and then rubies and diamonds, not complaining. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with us. Sorry for the long video. We appreciate you. If you saw anything you're interested in, definitely send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com and, and have a wonderful week. See you on the next one.